welcome back to my channel how are you it's been a minute because i'm a procrastinator and but this i decided i was like i cannot procrastinate look crazy procrastinator i still haven't put all my stuff up i i have a life and just i don't get in here often anyways so we're here to discuss the hank and henry subscription box yay i'm so excited about this so this is the very first box. It is $37.99 by month, $37 by monthly. You get it every other month. And my shipping in Texas was $7.99. I don't know if that's a flat rate. I don't know if that is everybody's price. Um, I wasn't even aware mine was in because it's not supposed to come until July until I seen um Elizabeth Wolf posted a video that she had her box. And I was like, did she get hers early? Was she on his PR? I wasn't really sure. And so, needless to say, I was like, let me check and see where mine is. And when I checked to see where mine was, it was already delivered yesterday. Hmm. Okay. Well, technically, it's the 26th because it's after midnight. I don't even know what time it is. I just know it's after midnight. So, anyways, like I said, I opened the box just enough to pull out the paper tissue and then the little card thing and this is what it says is that not the cutest look at that so my dearest night owls words cannot describe how much i appreciate and love you this first box is our best of beauty best of hank and henry beauty and will include our top sellers and customer favorites i'm so excited to start this new journey with you much love and it has a signature Guys, it is late. I apologize. So, just if I am all over the place, ignore me. So, this is what happens when you're doing stuff at like well past midnight when you should be in bed. So, oh, how pretty. So, this is what the box looks like. <coughs> be yourself, create magic, pay it forward. We are the night owls. That's amazing. Sorry, guys, my eye is so itching. I know some people do not like when you touch your eyeball, but. I touch my eyeballs. Okay. So, it is showing that you're going to get six products with $145 value with making each product approximately $6 a piece. $6 per item. I wonder if that's accurate. I'm going to add that up and see. Okay. First things first. So, you get two Alter Ego Eye Kit. So here's the two. Let's check them out. The first one is in El Jefe. And it says loose pearls. So, okay. This is the first one. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you've ever had Hank and Henry. I've never tried it. Okay. So the loose pearl color is El Jefe, which is this one right here. If I can get it open. Well, this bad boy is hard to open. I've never ordered them, so I have no clue. Okay, so this is like a deep gold. Looks like a like a deep gold green gold, maybe? Let's see here. I think my light's not doing it justice. Okay, and then there are two other colors. The pressed pearl looks like it shows... Chingona? And then I'm not even going to pronounce the mat name. But there you go. Okay. Oh. Let's see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. Very smoky. That is like a purple gray. Oh, come on. Focus. Okay. And then like a matte, matte black. So I'm hoping to get the red. We'll see. I seriously doubt it, but we will see. Okay, that's the first one. The next one is in The King's Queen. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, The King's Queen. There you go. It is a yellow, yellow gold. Like a... It looks kind of like a pinky yellow gold. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, the shimmer pearl is going to be ooh, bitch, betch, sorry, B-E-T-C-H. 
And then the mat is privileged. So that is O Betch. And then this is privileged. See this little slot down there? Elizabeth said those are for um, mixing mediums. So that way you can turn them either one a foil or metallic if you want. You know, it's for makeup artists is what, they, is what she said. So I don't know. I probably should watch this stuff a little bit more to see. Okay, the next thing is um, Slick With It Mascara Duo. Now, I will not be opening this just strictly because... I am, I don't like to open a bunch of mascaras, <coughs> so here it is. I do not want to have my mascara dry out, but from what it shows on here, it is a dual end, because I thought it was a primer, but it's not, so this is what it looks like, and if you notice, like, one is very thick and one is very thin, so this is going to be for the top lash line, and this is for the bottom lash line, just so you can kind of get in there a little bit better. Believe it or not, I have a mascara one that's a mini one like that, and it's from um, Maybelline, I think, like drugstore, because like I can really get down in there with them little mini uh, mascara wands and get in like in my lash line. So love it. Okay, last three products are gonna be um, lipsticks. I think they're lipsticks. What it looks like, lipsticks. Okay. Uh. The first one is in Petal Pusher. I've never used any of his stuff. Um, a lot of people got one in BoxyCharm. I did not get one. So let's see. This is what it looks like. I'm hoping it's a little bit darker than what it looks like in here because I, as you can tell, like dark colors. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful. Whoops. Got all kind of gunk on my hands. Okay. That is a very beautiful color. That color is right up my alley. There we go. So it's like a deeper color. I prefer personally like um browns, wines, plums, burgundy, berries. Those are my kind of colors. But I do wear a couple of nudes. Um, Not many, but I do wear some. Okay, the next one. Oh, I apologize. This color was a uh, petal pusher. The next one is um Comadre. Oh, come on. Yeah, Comadre. And I really like that they are all uh Hispanic names. Latin names, whatever you want to call them. Whatever is politically correct. Okay, let's see here. Okay, this I will have to wear over a darker lip liner or with another because that is a little too light for me. I think it kind of washes me out. And especially since I wear colors like this all the time. Um, I have a, a few colors like this, but I tend to wear them over darker lip liners. And when I say darker lip liners, I mean something along this line right here like this is in um this is nyx and yx uh, vintage so it's kind of like a berry color so i tend to wear lip liners like that okay the next one is in presidential and it is a lip gloss so that is super cool um the mascara was 19 dollars originally and uh, the lip gloss is $18. Oh, this is what it looks like. I apologize. There we go. Hmm. I think it's super cute because it looks like this would be the top. Like it would pull off like this. You know, and like you get the lipstick. So way to go, Hank and Henry. Like that is super cute. I like that packaging. Ooh. Okay. And then here is the gloss. Ooh, that doe foot is different than the others. Kind of worries me. Like, I pray it don't break. I'm going to be kind of gentle with that. Okay, and here's what it looks like. If you can see that. I think it'll look beautiful over the Comadre. Or over either one of them, actually. It kind of has, like, a pinky gold to it. You know, like, you can tell, like, there's some pink reflex. So... Hopefully you can see that. I apologize. It looks beautiful in here, but you know when you put glosses on, they're 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 really hard to see. 
So there you go. There's all three colors. There's the Hank and Henry box. I hope you like it. I apologize for the video being 10 minutes. Oh, it smudged. Oh, look at that. I smeared it. Well, it definitely does not completely dry down. So, y'all have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are. I'm trying to pull my wipes out to get ready to wipe it off so I don't make a mess. And I will see you on my next one. And hopefully I will stop procrastinating. So, y'all have a blessed day, wherever you are. Enjoy, and I will see you again.